Chapter 7, Carbohydrates. So, congratulations, you survived the organic chemistry portion of the class. And now we're on to biological chemistry, which is similar and yet different. So carbohydrates, it's a word we're familiar with. Um, this is an awful lot of sections in this chapter. So let's have a quick overview of biochemistry. Biochemistry is the study of chemical substances found in living organisms. So it's the chemistry of biology in a way. Um, so we're looking at the chemical substances and also the interactions that they have with each other. So the reactions that occur in living organisms. A biochemical substance um, is just a, a chemical substance found in a living organism. And there are two types of biochemical substances. Um, there are bio-inorganic substances, such as water and inorganic salts. There's um, a great deal of water in your body. Just because it's in a living organism does not make it organic in the, in the way chemists define organic. So these are inorganic substances. Salts like sodium chloride, um, your bones are made of calcium phosphate. Those sorts of things are inorganic substances. And then there are the bioorganic substances, and these are the ones we're going to talk about in the rest of this class. Carbohydrates, lipids, which are fats, proteins, and nucleic acids. So carbohydrates first. Um, other than water, most plant matter is made up of carbohydrates. 75% uh, of dry plant material. Um, carbohydrates are produced by photosynthesis. And um, there are two main types. Cellulose, which is a structural element and gives the plant its structure. You know, plants don't have bones like uh, mammals do. So how does a tree stand up and not fall over? Well, it's the cellulose in it. And then they also have another type of carbohydrate called starch or glycogen. And that is an energy reserve. Um, Plant products are the primary source of carbohydrates. The average human diet is two-thirds carbohydrates. So here's um, an overview of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis involves the reaction of carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil along with sunlight. And then sunlight provides the energy and the chlorophyll and the plant enzymes catalyze the reaction um, to form carbohydrates and oxygen. And I don't know, maybe I realized this and forgot it. It just struck me when I first started teaching biochemistry that this is really amazing. Um, did you ever think about where all the stuff in a tree comes from? You know, we get some really tall trees here on campus. Where did this stuff come from? I mean, we know that plants suck up water from the soil, right? And they, they need some minerals. You put fertilizer there, and it helps them grow. But are they getting all their matter from the soil? No, they're getting most of it from the air. That's crazy to think about, isn't it? It just doesn't seem possible. But all the carbon in the tree came from the air and a lot of the oxygen as well and so most of the plant is made up of carbohydrates which are primarily carbon hydrogen and oxygen and so this is the process by which plants make carbohydrates plants take in carbon dioxide and they give off oxygen and that's something you probably learned in elementary school but that's just a very very cool thing um, what do carbohydrates do? Oh, this is another section, isn't it? 